Hi guys, it's Dr. Brockenshire, and the question I get often is, what do I take? It takes a lot of energy to do what I do, um, travel around the world, travel around the country regularly, teaching docs, treating patients, being a dad, uh, you know, it, and staying in shape. So, how do we create the energy to do that? So these are the top 10 things I personally use and that I recommend busy people use to keep themselves going because in our office our motto is there are no sick days, right? People expect us to be there when they need them. So this is how I do that. The first thing we got to remember is everybody needs a probiotic. So you're going to need some kind of probiotic. I use orthobiotic from a company called Orthomolecular. I like this one for me because not only does it use your lactobacillus strains, but it also has the Saccharomyces boulardii, which is key for the immune system in the intestines. Then you're going to need to pick a fish oil. Personally, I love the taste of this one. It reminds me of a creamsicle. And so I take a tablespoon of this every day. And if we're craving something sweet, we take another tablespoon pretty easy to find good information on omega-3s. I go with the Designs for Health Omega-3 because it's the highest potency and the best quality that I've been able to find. So that's the one my kids use too. Then I needed to choose a vitamin C. So I like to bounce between products to kind of mix it up. For a couple years I've been using the Camu Camu vitamin C from Physica. And so that's a liposomal form of vitamin C combined with the plant Camu Camu. Recently, I'm using a bottle of straight liposomal vitamin C, which comes from Designs for Health. Both of these liposomal vitamin C's are a liposome, so that allows the designers of those vitamin C's to get vitamin C into the blood, into the tissues where it can make the most difference. As you know, vitamin C is good for everything from the immune system to the connective tissue, but I take vitamin C because my poor little old adrenal glands can use all the vitamin C they can get. And that's the best way for me to put it in my body, short of getting an IV. Sometimes we'll use a powdered form of vitamin C, and that's more for adjusting pH or to try and get the bowels to outperform what they're normally doing. So if your bowels have become uh, off kilter or a little irregular, you can use vitamin C to recalibrate your bowels. It's also good for alkalizing or acidifying depending on what your pH is. Another thing that goes with vitamin C is vitamin B. Now there's a lot of vitamin B's out there and this is the only liposomal form of B complex that I've been able to find that sits well with most of us that don't methylate properly. So if you've ever taken a vitamin B and wondered, wow, I've got all this energy, it's not necessarily a good thing. The liposomal B gives you B1 through the alphabet and the, and the numbers all the way to B15, plus some globe artichoke. So it's a way to give your cells extra energy and support metabolism, as well as keep those detox pathways rolling. And of course, it's chocolate flavored, which makes everything else go down well. The other thing I like about this particular B is it pairs well with the liposomal C. The B and C complex go hand in hand for energy. So you only need a dropper or two of this stuff every day. There's also some secret sauce in here which is NAD and that's key for healthy aging. You can't go very far without magnesium today. You've heard me talk about magnesium before. Uh, the buffered form of magnesium or the bisglycinate form is what I take. It's also bound with the amino acid taurine. So I take one to two of those a day just because, but if you've ever woke up sore or you don't feel right or you've got brain fog or nothing else is really working for you, when in doubt, make sure you've got enough magnesium on board, okay? And that's the one we use because it doesn't cause bowel distress. Now, unless you've been under a rock, you've also noticed in the media that we're supposed to be eating vegetables, that there's a lot of good super foods available to us. And the idea of a superfood is really a misnomer. All food is super if it's clean and you eat it when it's fresh. And one of the hard parts about being really busy is you don't always get the time it takes to make the best fresh foods available. So for years, 
I have been taking and trying um, dozens, literally dozens of different food matrix formulas. And the one I'm using right now is called Vita Life Force by Physica Energetics. This has the right spread of greens and blues and yellows, plus one of my favorite herbs, Shizandra. And you don't need a lot of it. So I can get 180 of these capsules, and right now I'm only taking three a day. So dollar for dollar, this one goes a long way. This would be considered my super greens and super blues, if you wanted to make it super. Of course, red wine and coffee are also super food, so we want to add those to the list. I can't go too much further when we're talking about superfoods unless I bring up turmeric. There's a lot of turmerics out there. The one I'm currently using is called Turmeric Forte by Mediherb. My friends at Mediherb have figured out a way to merge turmeric with fenugreek seed as a way to get turmeric curcuminoids into the brain more efficiently. So if I were to make a cup of turmeric tea, this would be 245 times more bioavailable than that cup of tea. So now it's my cup of tea. I take one a day. I need my brain to work the best it can. And there's nothing more super than turmeric when you look at the medical literature. There are literally thousands of studies to support the use of turmeric on a daily basis. The other super duper formula I like to use is called Vitanox. I take one to two Vitanox a day. This is another Mediherb formulation. Professor Kerry Bone put this together back in the 90s. Based on the available medical literature, he figured out, well, what plants will we mix together to make the perfect one a day based on plants? It's Vitanox. This has your ginkgo, your grapeseed, your turmeric your rosemary extracts. There's a lot of good things happening in Vitanox. I've been taking one or two a day for the better part of a decade. Um, from a brain health point of view, I would say Vitanox is the cornerstone of your program. If you've hung out with us in the office for any length of time, you know we see all kinds of patients. And in the winter months, we see a lot of sick people. I take one andrographis complex every day, all year round to make sure my immune system never loses its edge. Andrographis is one of those plants you're going to be reading more about. It is an Indian herb. It's known as the king of bitters. And if you've ever used the product Sinatrol, that's one of the herbs in there that makes it work so well. The other thing I use Andrographis for is stress support. It is high in holy basil, which is another Indian herb for stress and adapting to stress. Speaking of stress, we wouldn't go very far without Adrenal Complex, another Mediherb formula in tablet form. And it is basically licorice root and Ramania root combined, which allows your body to perform better under stress and support a healthy stress response so you can run seven days a week, 12 hours a day, and not completely lose your mind. So this is how I keep going. This is kind of what helps me tick on top of eating the cleanest, healthiest foods I can get my hands on. And when I'm on the road, all of these come with me.